Hey guys, I am going to show you a really fun fall and winter time craft that you're going to absolutely love. It's how to make beeswax candles yourself. So the reason that I want to share this with you guys is because, you know, we love to burn candles in the fall. It's such like a thing that we as humans want to do for some reason. And the candles that you can buy at the grocery store or specialty candle type shops that will remain nameless, nine times out of 10, contain toxic chemicals. And when you burn those, it goes into the air and it's bad for your respiratory system. It's just bad for your overall health. Um, the wicks a lot of times contain lead. So you have to be very, very careful because that when it's burnt, it emits toxic chemicals into the air. Lead's not a good thing. And then second, the paraffin wax that's oftentimes used is also a toxic chemical and the scents that are used in those candles are generally artificial scents. And when they're artificial scents, that's not a good thing. It's all just like a triple whammy. So making beeswax candles yourself eliminates all of those different types of toxins. Plus beeswax purifies the air. Who knew, right? Kind of a cool thing. Now you can buy beeswax candles pre-made. They're just generally pretty expensive. So I'm gonna show you how to make them for a fraction of the cost. Let's go do it. So these are the supplies that you're going to need. I will link all of these items below. The first thing is you need a high quality beeswax. And this beeswax I actually got off of eBay. It is 100% pure beeswax that has been filtered. That's really important. If you don't buy filtered beeswax, you're gonna have to filter it yourself. And I didn't wanna have to do that, which is okay. I mean, you just melt it down and strain it through cheesecloth. It's not a huge deal, um, but I didn't wanna have that process. So I just purchased these from a beekeeper off of eBay. I will link his store below and I'll link a couple other stores that might be good options. It was so much cheaper buying the beeswax from eBay than it was from Amazon. So we'll do that. And then these two items I actually did get off of Amazon. This is 100% cotton wick. So no metal in there. This is the number two size. And then I will link up, of course, a, a little chart below that shows you the size thickness of wick that you will need depending on the size of container you have. And then these I also got off of Amazon um, are just wick tabs. This is what holds the wick to the bottom of your jar. You need some jars. I just got these from the Goodwill. Um, this was a candle jar at one point, and I think this one was too, because you see it has that little tiny thing down here at the bottom. So I just have these, and since these are about two inches across, not quite, that's what my number two size wick was purchased for. In addition to that, you'll need some scissors to cut your wick, pretty easy, and um, either chopsticks or you can tape together like I did two toothpicks, and this just holds your wick upright. And then to actually melt the beeswax down, you'll need some sort of a Pyrex or a glass jar that has like a spout on it. You could also use an old metal coffee can if you can bend the top into a little spout, that works fine. And um, beeswax is really hard to get out of things. So you definitely want to use an old Pyrex that you're okay with ruining with beeswax. And then you can either melt the wax or melt the wax down in the microwave or you can make a double boiler and that's what I'm going to show you today and I just need a pan and a little bit of water to do that. Okay, all I've done is I've put a couple inches of water into my pot here and I've turned the burner to high and I'm just going to let it start to simmer. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to chop up my beeswax. Now beeswax, you don't have to chop it up. You can just leave it whole like this, um, but it melts faster if it's chopped up. So that's why I'm going to chop it just a bit. Ultimately, the amount of beeswax you're going to need should, you know, fill up the jar about one and a half times. About like that. Just kind of a rough estimate. Okay, so now that my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and take my Pyrex and stick it into the double boiler here. And then I'm just going to let it kind of sit and it'll start to melt. While that's melting, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my wicks. So this is the first jar that I'm going to be using. So what I wanna do is cut the string, or the wick, 
about, I want to have a little bit of give, so maybe twice as tall as my jar is. Just trim that. And I'm just going to tie a small knot in one end, right down at the very end. Just like that. And then I'm going to thread the wick holder. And then I'm just going to kind of pull down enough so that the knot goes all the way up inside that little kind of chimney part right there. And now this will sit flat inside of my jar. So you can see the wax is starting to kind of melt a little bit. So what I did is I just stuck the end of the wick holder into the wax and then I just pressed it down into the bottom, being very, very careful, making sure it's right in the center and that will help keep the wick steady when I pour the wax in. All right, my wax is now melted completely. It took about 15 minutes or so. And now I'm just gonna pour it into my jars. So it's really important to keep the wick in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dunk the wick down into the wax a little bit. And then I'm going to stand it straight up. And block it between two toothpicks. Now I'm gonna let these cool. It'll take about an hour or so for them to solidify. And um, it's not recommended to start burning them until about 12 to 24 hours after they've cooled, but um, I get a little impatient and I haven't had a problem <laughs> burning them pretty quickly after I've made them. All right guys, that's it. That's how you make your own beeswax candles. I hope that you do try this. It's a really fun craft to do and it really makes your house smell like honey. It's a wonderful thing. Um, all the links to all the supplies are below, so be sure to check those out and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.